Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, and MU. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. Alright, let's get right to the charts. NVIDIA daily chart. 13 million on the day, volume wasn't bad, $3.53 down, 47 cents up after hours, and 1.45% red on the day. Nice little sell off, peeking off at the top, gets through here, double top, starts chopping, straight down with the indexes right where, double bottom here, right where we took off back on 820 of 2018. So in these couple of days, just like up, wipes out all these up moves, and we're right back to pretty good support on the charts. We even kissed this area here, but I still like gap fill in this area uh, around the 216.70, and then double bottom here at 210. If we get there, I don't know. We're still back below the uh, 200 MA, still below these, so now we're in a weak stance. So down sideways, one, two, three, four, five, six days of consolidation with the 20 MA curling, but this was a real good pattern too and what happened took off so i still play this as a bullish or a bearish pattern below the ma's only thing stopping me is earnings guys earnings we could pop right to the top if it does drop we'll be looking for these areas market pulls back same thing looking for these areas for a bounce everything right now guys is a market trade with the spy and all the other indexes so so nvidia holding strong Today, a um, little bit down, nothing crazy, but consolidating in a bearish manner. Uh, I just, I love this bearish pattern, and then they just took it up on me. But, you know, volume disappear. Volume stays in these markets, in these trade, in these uh, equities. This will be going lower. All right, let's look at AMD. So AMD had a nice pullback. Everyone thought it was going higher. This one pulls back. When it goes from $9 to $34, you got to have some... A pullback or something guys we had an inside bar red pattern daily gets above the 50 ma gets above this red bar never no follow through right back in engulfs this green bar but still holding it the low of this green bar will be big so we'll get fill and double bottom so that's what we'll be looking for now we're down sideways so that's a little bit bearish we're below the 20 and the 50 ma still above this one here but i still think lower prices to come on this one so um, just let's see what it gives us in the next couple of days. It will be a market trade. Earnings coming up as well. SPY, the IWM take off. This should go higher. SPY, um, IWM Qs start to dump. Everything going lower. Same thing. Market trade. Higher, higher prices on ever, all the equities. Lower on the indexes. Lower prices on the equities. Other than earnings. Earnings that could pop or drop either way. But the markets are dumping. You know, I'm, I'm still 16 bucks, guys. And I know it said eight bucks, everyone's gonna be like blah blah blah. When we had here, what a run. But just like always, shoots up, what goes up, must come down. Next thing you know, this will be a ten dollar stock again. And you know what? Maybe I'll buy the dip there. <laughs> so AMD though, seventy nine million on the day, sixty eight cents down, um, two dollar or two point four nine percent uh down today. Um volume wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Um, let's keep an eye on this one, see what it does in the next couple of days, especially the weekly closes. This is going to be really important this week on these uh, charts. Tesla, so much for 420. It was up in smoke. You know, Elon smoking weed, 420, ha, ha, ha. Next thing you know, his stock's down to 263. Greatest trading vehicle ever, guys, ever. Another 100-point move down, 100-point move up, 100-point move down. I'm not touching this one going into earnings. There's nothing for me to do on this. It's at the lower end of the range. You're below the MAs in a weak stance. You couldn't even get above this area where the trend line, you know, connect the lows, guys. Where is it? Right there. Actually, go to the weekly, but right there. Goes through here, right into this area. Gets tries. Great push up. Even a great gap up. Look at that. Gap in the gap fill. The gap in crap, guys. We're still in the low end of the range. Even down sideways, down sideways. News is driving this one, so you know, bear or bulls, you got to get above the MAs and then higher prices. Bears, as long as you stay in below, these are curling in the price. We retest this 248. 
I still, you know, earnings are the only thing that would stop me from taking, from doing something. We had a short, of course. We covered it already. Yeah, I'm looking at the 180 again. Before it was the 250 area, and we got the big, huge bounce. Now I'm going lower, guys. 231's not bad. So you got to pivot down here. you got to pivot down there around 211. At the end of the day, though, this thing starts crumbling, and the markets start pulling back. We're going to 182 and possibly lower. Gosh. Be careful in these markets, guys. But Tesla down $7.87 on 5 million shares traded. Let's zoom in on this one. It was, it was kind of a quiet day on Tesla, you know, compared to the last news driven. I mean, look at this. Gap down, gap up, straight back down, kind of up, oh, by the dip, and they're going to bring it down. This is where they're going to take all the longs money because the longs are going to, they're loaded up in margin. Every time it dips, they buy more, and this is the time they just keep bringing it lower. And if the indexes sell, phew, it's over guys five million on the day not too bad news driven er coming up just um let's let's see if this area support holds around the 250 248 area even 245 is a good area if that starts to break we're going lower guys i'm telling you we're going to go 225 200 then 175 if the markets continue to sell if the markets really dump who knows guys i'll be waiting for it by the dip we'll finally buy the dip <laughs> so so that's tesla and then MU, MU right back to the lows, 41 bucks. This is another one. Look at that, great, look at that. So all the longs chase it, they get murdered, they go short down in here. Now they're getting murdered again, they switch the short to a long, then they get murdered again going to the downside. It is holding this area. This is big because this is where it retraced, try to break out again, came back in, and now we're retesting that area. If it breaks the uh, $40, I'm going to say 40 buck air, well, 40, 45, then the $40 gap fill, well, it's not a gap fill because of that, uh, that pivot low, but around the $40 level, 39, 39, watch for that. That cracks, we're going to 37.59, and then earnings, again, like NVIDIA and like all these stocks is the only thing that's going to save this at this point. Oh, wow, 34. I still think we go to 27, 28. Down in here, I'll, I'll down somewhere in here. I might be a buyer of MU if if it doesn't hold. If if it starts to slide, markets go. That's exactly where it's going now. I don't like to be doom or gloom, but let's. I just want to see what the big retrace gives me. Yeah, look at that, six one eight. Thirty six. Yeah, jeez, that's insane. <clears throat> so we'll we'll six one eight too. That's huge. From that, from this pivot, and then we're going to look at the 36.34 with the gap filled down in here around 34.15, and then if the markets are giving it up, you just just step aside, let it fall. We'll be looking for re, if we get quick retraces, we'll look to short again. Not so much on this now, I'm just saying overall indexes stuff like that. <clears throat> but wow, you know another one. You got to go to the monthly on these guys. Look at that monthly high flyer. Look what it did. But I always talk about guys first target. 20 MA. Look at that. It hasn't touched 20 MA. First target. Where is it? 20 MA. 29, 16 guys. Right there. 26, 91. That's that's a pretty good area too. If it does come straight down, what a great what a great retrace and then a dump again. Just uh, be careful in these markets, guys. Light positions, um, or sit on your hands and just watch these things develop. Um, earnings coming up on most of these stocks, the big names. Let's let's see if that drives them up or down. Again, if it goes up, we'll short. If it goes down, we'll go long. I'm not going to just jump in a stock just to say, hey, let's try to do this. We had some great call positions when the market was bottoming out those couple days ago when we had the thousand point down day, um, and the um, what was it, the 500 point down day. We bought calls and we did um, uh, short puts too. We're already out in and out of those trades. Four winners, two losers. Uh, the spy wasn't that bad. Uh, we took a loss on the, um, gosh, on the DIA. I think we got in a day too early, one day. Yeah, but again, we took light positions. You know, on these, just don't load the house, guys. We're in six positions. You don't need to be fifty thousand in each one. Just light ones. So if we if we do get murdered, it's not bad, and we could just cut them and get out, guys. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to rack up more losers, more or less losers, more winners. We have uh, 294 winners on the year, 76 losers, and 24 open trades. We have closed a couple more winners in the last um, week or so, so I think we're right, right around 300 winners on the year now with 18 open, 76 losers. So pretty good uh, win streak here. It's right around the 78% winners. And uh, let's keep it going. We still have a little bit of time left into the year. Had a great year so far, guys. My members killed it. And, uh, 
you know, let's just uh, keep it going. One trade at a time. Light. These markets are wild. And then we're going into Options X coming up. Uh, um, actually, it is Options X. Whoa, wait a minute here. Are we in Options X week? Man, these weeks are flying by. Yeah, so 19th is, yeah. Okay, so we're at Thursday. So tomorrow is the weekly close. Gosh, I went on vacation, guys. Came back, and I have no idea what day it is or anything anymore. But it's Friday. Let's see what the weekly close is on these. A lot of ugly action. Um, man, watch for tomorrow that the SPY, uh, we could get a massive sell-off. Just, just if you are in any long positions, just look out, guys. I seen some stuff today I didn't really like. I, I hope, hopefully, we just stay flat and we do whatever. But uh, for me and my members, we got some shorts to cover, still cover. I would like to see some nasty selling tomorrow. But, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Going to try to get more videos out there in the next couple of weeks. Got some crazy action. Just trying to help people. Check out stockbookie.com. Sign up. It's 30 bucks, guys. I'll go over charts. We got some great trades. $30, guys, to get some knowledge. And a guy that uh, has been doing this for a long time. So come check me out. As long as you have a you know a good size account. Not good size. At least 30000 day trade and stuff like that. You'll do fine with me. So, All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.